continuing coverage. Music fans, especially those here in Seattle, are mourning the loss of Lane Staley, lead singer for Allison Chains. Staley was found dead last night in his Seattle area apartment. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Millman has the story. This was six years ago. It marked the first stage appearance for Allison Chains after a three year hiatus and demonstrated lead singer Lane Staley's dark, morbid side. Hi, the end. Hi. Staley's death is being felt by listeners of the local radio station that premiered Seattle's grunge music more than a decade ago. Already this morning, phones were lighting up. That's just a great loss. It you. is. Yeah, and it's a senseless one, you know. Yeah, I, I'd heard that he had been kind of on the outs and depressed and stuff within the last couple of years, and I just hoped that he'd get out of it and you know be able to go on and maybe record some more stuff or do whatever he wanted to in life, actually. Yeah, callers are very upset. I mean, Allison Chains was a big part of the Northwest scene, you know, one of the bedrock Seattle bands. Staley, who wrote lyrics dealing with the darkness of his struggle with heroin abuse, was discovered yesterday in this University District apartment building. Officials believe he'd been dead for some time. Flowers, a lone candle, and a card are at the scene, presumably left by a mourning fan. Here along the Ave, near Staley's home, fans are just now finding out about his death. And despite his admitted drug problem, his fans are still reacting with sadness. That's terrible. This is really shocking. He was so talented. Oh, my gosh. In the 1990s, Staley acknowledged an addiction to heroin. Although we don't know the cause of death, fans are wondering. It's terrible because we lose such great musicians. I feel better there. Lane Staley, despite his drug problems, an obvious talent. Gone at age 34. In Seattle, Michelle Millman, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. Fans are planning to gather at the Seattle Center tonight to remember Lane Staley. The vigil is set to begin at 6 o'clock. It's less than an hour at the International Fountain. Well, we could get an answer next week concerning the widow of another grunge rocker, Kurt Cobain. His former bandmates say Courtney Love needs mental help. They argued their case before a King County judge yesterday. Former Nirvana members Chris Novoselic and Dave Grohl want Love to submit to a psychiatric examination. They say she's too irrational and self-centered to manage her business partnership with them. But lawyers for Love claim there is no evidence she's incapacitated. This Nirvana music should be out there for the fans. She is fighting that. The fact that she has said that she was stoned at some point in her life does not mean she was mentally incapacitated. The judge hearing this case says he'll announce a decision in the next week to 10 days. And of course, we will let you know what happens. Spectators are still stunned tonight after witnessing...